Hey guys, my name is Bloom, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Hamachi Cube World server. So it's fairly easy to do. The first thing you need to do is download Hamachi. Of course, you already have that, and you can I suppose you can skip this step. But what you want to do is click Conditions of Use, make sure that is ticked, and download the managed, unmanaged version. It's fairly easy to, easy to install, and once you've done that, you'll have something that looks kind of like this, but without all of the networks. So it'll either ask you if you haven't figured out. This is what you have to press first of all when it says like offline, and then that'll take. It could take a few minutes to turn on. But then you want to create a new network, and I don't know, we're going to call this YouTube, uh, Brumch, and then, oh, password, one, two, three, one, two, three, obviously you can make it somewhat secure if you would want, and then that would be it, and you can invite other people to your network, so what they would do then is join an existing network, and they type in YouTube, Brumch, and then one, two, three, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete network, because I'm not ever going to use that. Um, and that's all you need to do. This will be the IP for the server, everything before the slash. Since you can't copy and paste the IP into Cube World, that will be it. But this is a really important step. So what we want to do is go to, uh, if you type in firewall, it's easier to get to. Just open up start and type in firewall, so Windows firewall. And then in the top left, you'll see allow a program or feature through Windows firewall. You want to click that. And if yours is all blurred out, if like your menu by here is blurred out, you want to click change settings so you can then edit it all. And then you want to click, oh, you want to type in L and see if like me and Hamachi is there. And if it's not, then you want to click allow another program. And then type, click L and then look for uh, admin, log me and Hamachi and then click add. And make sure both of these boxes are ticked, the public and the home network private. And then allow another program and add cube world. I'm not sure if the cube world part is necessary, but I would do it just in case. Both of mine have been added. And again, make sure if we go here, make sure both are ticked. So once you've done that, once you've created your network and you've made sure your firewall is sorted, you want to go to my computer, local disk, program files 86. If you're on a Windows 64 bit computer, if you're on a 32 bit, it'll just be program files. You won't have this folder. So when you open that, you want to look for Cube World, which is right here. And then you'll have a server.exe, and you want to open that. And then that's, that's okay for now. What you'd then do is open up Cube World, wait until it, see if there's any updates, make sure you log in. And once that comes up, you want to start game, pick your character, and then connect to a server. So what you would do is remember the IP. So we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Then you type in, so what is it, 25.95, oh, oh, 88, sorry, 46, and then click connect, and it'll ask you to please wait, and if you see in the console, it says player zero is joined, waiting for connection, and as long as the person on your Hamachi has also got a green or blue circle by them, that means they're online, and that means they are available to join the network, as you can hear, I'm now taking damage whilst I'm in the game, because it loads beforehand. But then that's it. That's all they have to do. They have to... There we go. We're going to attack around in sec. That's not really the time, is it? But that's all they will have to do. They have to then join the game by typing in the IP. You don't have to create a world beforehand. And that's it. It's that simple. This will work for almost anyone. And if this doesn't work, uh, tell me what happens down in the description. I'm pretty sure I can help you figure this out. In the last tutorial I did where I taught you... Uh, how to fix the crash. I wasn't quite sure how to fix other crashes, but if this doesn't work, then I will be sure to help you down in the description if you do need some help. And if you can, uh, if you want, you can add me on Skype, it's putumch.com, and then if you look down to the bottom right, you'll see a Skype icon. Be sure to add me there, and I'm, I'll help you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.